The only thing as impressive as the Empire State Building are the men who built it, and at that time, the rules for construction workers were a lot different than they are today. The hardworking men way up high who were moving girders, riveting, painting, and even just eating lunch or resting earned a reputation for being daredevils. They worked with minimal harnesses, walked nonchalantly along beams suspended hundreds of feet above the street, swung on cables, and sometimes even took short naps on the metallic beams. As fearless as the riveters and iron workers seemed, there was one danger they heeded, weather. When it rained, there was a danger of slipping. When it was bitterly cold, stiff or numb hands could not hold onto anything. The project involved more than 3,500 workers at its peak, including 3,439 on a single day in August of 1930. Many of the workers were Irish and Italian immigrants, with a sizable minority of Mohawk iron workers from the Conaway Reserve near Montreal. Five workers died during the construction.